Hello everybody and welcome to the Saints Plays Battle Brothers with the Brothers United. We have quite some uh, ragged band of mercenaries here I would say. And we can even level up Baldwin, that's right, let's see. Baldwin, you should definitely get some Colossus, get some extra hit points under you. Level up. That's well, not that great, but these two are. Alright, so we have... We're going to complete our ambition. It's a bit of a question when exactly. I think we're going to visit Saxdorf to see um, if they have something for us as a quest. And there it is. Ambition fulfilled. No one likes a skin flint. Least of all, a group of wandering, bloodthirsty rebel motivated primarily by a love of coin. Oh, oh, that's us. Not everyone, or more precisely, no one was thrilled when you suggested cutting back on spending to save up for a company standards. Once the Butters United standards is finally paid for and hoisted for the first time to proudly snap in a fresh dawn breeze, however, no one claims it wasn't worth it. The men are proud of their new standard, even tossing around names for it around the campfire, though none of them really stick. It's clear for everyone to see now that it's not some band of hired thugs. This is becoming a true mercenary company. Who should have the honor of carrying the standard? So we gained renown. We spent 1000 crowns, so that's good. We didn't spend the 2000 crowns, but just one. And we actually gain a battle standard. And everybody likes it. Alright, so let's see the battle standard, what it actually is. Stash. Oh, that's beautiful. A company standard to take into battle. Held high, Alex will rally around it with renewed resolve and enemies will know well who is about to crush them. It's a pole arm, two-handed, does 50 to 70 damage, that's pretty good. 30% of damage ignores armor, 100% effective against armor. Oh, it's a range of two tiles. And allies at a range of four tiles or less receive 10% of the resolve of the characters holding... The standard as a bonus to up to the maximum of the standard bearer's resolve. Ooh, so we want somebody with high resolve to carry it into battle. Alright. Where's high resolve? Not all at once. We really have almost nobody with good resolve. Karsten is the only guy who has good resolve. But he did get the shield expert and it's a two-handed weapon. Any of you guys? You have really good resolve, but I don't want to push away these archers. Um, well, maybe Saxdorf will have a guy for us that we can get. Uh, because I do want to take it into battle. But none of our guy current guys that's really great for it. Um, let's take one. Cory the Bull. Working here and there, Cory is known as the Day Tailor. Someone to ask whenever an extra hand is needed. Query wants to do something he had not done before. So traveling mercenary company seems to be a good opportunity to see a bit of the world. Eh, maybe not. Maybe Harbert. A special breed of man comes out of ranches and farmers. Sturdy, resolute, resolute hardworking. Harbert spent many years harvesting the crop that fed everyone in the land. With more crowns than ever in the killing business, the man was easily drawn away from his mootly crops. Harmut is big enough to wring a guy's neck like it was a cow's udder. I like Harmut. Let's go get Harmut. Okay, Harmut, how's your resolve? 30, but with a lot of grow. He's a dastard. He's not really brave either. Well, you're going to be the one that carries the battle standard then, I guess, though. Even though you're not that brave and everything like that. Your resolve is good enough that you might, you, you can gain enough that it might actually uh, compensate, kind of. If you, something like that, you already have a tunic. Maybe you just want to fill up the company to 12 men. Sure, let's take Cory as well. Cory, are you better suited for the banner? Not really. Loyal. Brute. So you like hitting people on the head, eh? Let's give you a flail so you can do that. Shield. Look at that, we have 12 men in our company now fighting. I like it. 
Although Cory is also really good at range compared to some others, maybe. For example, Baldwin. See, Baldwin has good stats now. Cory has the real potential to go further, while Baldwin also has better um, attack stats. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the bow here. Give Baldwin... No, that's Harmored again. Give Baldwin the banner. You can get some enough resolve. You can start hitting people on the head with a bow, I guess. And you... Gonna be a spearman then, I guess. One, two, three, four. So yeah, one, two, three, four. So only this guy is now not in range of the battle standard, but that should be fine. A Baldwin, yeah, you do have Bullseye, which is kind of useless right now, but uh, that's okay. I think I like this better. Next perk can give him whatever arm less fatigue repellent hook I don't think this has the repellent hook though it will be fine something like this and can we get some armor as well because we're desperately short on that no well let's travel then again um, let's go to Sunt Kayung With a full company of 12 this time as well. Lots of militia companies around. But there are two quests here. Where had the councillor's men are standing around a bit of cargo. The employee shoes them away when he sees you. Welcome, welcome, good seeing you. I'm in need of armed guards to have this package delivered to a man by the name of Hubert the Wise of Freidorf. He gets a lot of packages. How interested would you be in doing that for me? How much money? 200 crowns. 210. Ah, sure. I mean, Friedhof is not that far away. We came from there recently. And the pay is good enough. Pays me more than I spend on going there. So, sure. And we might get a new ambition. I want a new ambition. And I hope that when we're in Friday, they will have a, uh, a contract for us there as well. See? Easy money. Herbert the Wise. Welcome, Shu, and a few of his men. Hurry over to take the cargo. He clasps you on the shoulders. It's a journey. You, it, I take it your journey went well. You spare him diesel and inquire about your pay. Bah! The cells sort through and through. Emerald, get this man what he deserves. One of Hubert's the Wise bodyguards walks over and hands you a small chest of grants. Well deserved. Fortunately, no quest here. Ooh, though I want to check is their armor. Uh, a thick tunic is not worth it. This is a fortress. This is a citadel indeed. This is a small town. Let's go to Auntrum. There's a ladder tanner and a herbless girl. Oh, it's also a Mobert Bailey. So no quest there. Keep uh, huts and buildings. Hammeraden. See if they have something for us. Ah, as the company takes a break, you decide to address the man. Brothers, I want everyone to know the Brothers United are not just cutthroat and errand boys, but skill fighters of the first order. Words of our deeds must spread so that merchants and noblemen are begging us to take their contracts. 
What do you tell the men, the men the company will set out to do? We need to catch the of one of the noble houses for more profitable work. Uh, we can name a sergeant. Oh, I like that. Let's go to every settlement. Or defeat a group of at least a dozen opponents. I will go for the sergeant. I have one man with a rally with rally the troops book. Okay, let's take a look. I think this is our highest level guy. Um, fast reputation. Just going through quickly if we can find rally the troops. Rally the troops. Unlocks the rally skill which can rally fleeing allies and raise morale for all nearby allies to a steady level. The higher the resolve of the character using the skill, the higher the chance to succeed. So Baldwin is a perfect guy to get that. So Baldwin needs to level up and we can get complete this quest. Have at least one man with a rally troop. You also need enough inventory for another item. So that means we get a sergeant item as well. Sounds good. Yulf the treasure welcomes you to a room and pours you a mug of water. No wine this time. Ugh, I hate it. He hands it over with a sheepy smile. I'd offer you a bit of ale or wine if I had it on me. But you know how things are nowadays. He takes a sip and clears his throat. Of course, I'm not that short on our crowns. Otherwise, we would be having this conversation, right? I need you to go to a place by the name of Stonefish Keep Ruins, just west of here, and retrieve a relic by the name of a Prophet's Pamphlet. Pretty simple, no? You ask what the relic is good for. The man explains, No folk pray to it. Though it through it they find peace, call for the rains, hawk their goats. I don't care. They believe in it and it keeps them motivated. For that alone, it's worth retrieving. Simple enough. What's the pay? Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine prize for your work. It's 90 crowns in advance and another 360 when the job is done. A bit more. 100 crowns in advance and another 390 when the job is done. It's actually a fair offer. Uh, I accept it. Alright. So that's... Okay, maybe it's less fair now because we have to go really far. So, it's an abandoned keep. Uh, might be undead, might be some bandit thugs. I don't know, we'll see. I think, I guess, my money is on undead. Which I don't mind. Undead are very doable, I think. Perfect timing as well, it's becoming dawn, you now in the morning, everybody's in full health. And uh, let's go in. Finding and banging. Bagging the Prophet's pamphlet was easier than expected. Finding a group of undead men, top heavy with rustic armor, winning spears, and a tight military formation, and even the highest paid army in the rail. Not so expected. Two arms! Two arms. Some auxiliaries. Okay, we can deal with this. I feel confident. I see the battle. Ooh, it looks great. I love it. All right. We can shoot at these guys, not that good. I'm gonna wait a turn with him. Same with you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Pretty much everybody's gonna wait a turn for them to move a little bit closer, I think. Which maybe I should have moved on this plateau here though. Where I kind of want to fire at these guys. At this guy, particularly. Especially not that guy now. And by the looks of it, we can still take this plateau. So all's good and well. Not that great shooters today, are you now? Well, at least we got some hits. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. It's not the worst thing ever to happen either. Raise up your shield. Crack his skull open. 
see if we can do a flail. There you go, one down for the count. I'm gonna actually put you in there. It's not the most optimal location, but it will do. Let's fire the back row. Let's put you on high ground because apparently it uses a lot of stuff to actually uh, attack with that banner. I do love the music that it's playing for us right now. It sounds really atmospherical with fighting undead. Let's move here, exact like that. And um Move up like here, so you can go behind them. Maybe on the ridge over there. Let's see. It's a fully helmet guy only. So let's fire a shooter, or not shoot. Let's attack him. You as well go on the ledge. Good shot, good shot. All right, let's poke him. Well, at least it did s some damage to the shield, I guess. So really low chances to hit, but I'll take them anyway. Uh, and as per usual, these undead do not prove that much of a challenge. Though their shields are quite annoying, I must say. There you go. Chopped off his head. You have a shield, so we need to go around it. Alright, so... We can't reach it. it. Takes... You can do one step. So we have to wait with you because people are in the way. You are in the way. I kind of hope that we at least do enough damage to the shield to actually break it or something like that. Well, that works as well. Uh, go here. Stab in. There you go. Uh, now that guy can't actually hit anyone anymore, which is fine, I guess. Come on. Yes, there we go. Nobody leveled up, unfortunately. It got very little XP from it, to be honest, but it's okay. We got some nice loot out of it. The Signet Ring of 104 crowns and this actually sells for a bit as well. The helmet we can actually use already, which is even better. Good quest. The battle's over and the Prophet's pamphlets obtained. You tell the man to pre prepare for a return to Ulf the treasurer. You're not entirely sure who or what just attacked you, but right now it's time to get paid. Right, let's go to Hammerreden. Well, I give Harmut a new helmet. With that, no, everybody has at least something on their head. So we, the, the helmet that he had isn't really going to somebody else either. Maybe we need to go look for a place with an armor. So weaponsmith, Fletcher, Barber, Kennels, we have never been there. Oh, there's a lot of dire wolves. I didn't feel like finding them anyway. I'm kind of happy that we kind of skip them. Town folks seem in good spirit. There is a armor here. Good. Yes, we want that piece of armor. Because our man could definitely use some armor. Uh, let's see. We can sell the signet ring. 
And we can sell these shields. And this spear. Then how many... Because we would like a heather shield. So how many pieces of armor do we still kind of require? One. And then for this row. So at least one. Yeah, and I don't want to spend much more money on it. Alright, so who is the highest level character on the front row? Yeah, that's absolutely Karsten. You got a header shield, buddy. Congratulations. And Karsten will also get the leather laminated armor, which gives you the Wendell. Uh, Wendell the Gamberson. And then I guess you will get the leather tunic. And sure, let's go after the direwolves. Oh, they're already fighting. And they're dead. Fine, then let's not go after the direwolves anyway. Let's go to Hirschbach, see if we can get a job over there. Because uh, we definitely need some more jobs. More cash is really what we need always. It's a nice road though, a little bit of forest around, close to the river, or I think it's actually in the sea, not really a river. I don't think rivers are really in this uh, map generation script. They do have a job for us. That's good. Well, the counselor got two papers in hand. There are faces sketched on them. We got these two the other day. Hang them. Burn them. Burn the remains. You shrug. Congratulations. The man is not very amused. Now we've got a word that our brigand friends are coming to exact revenge on us. And yes, we need your help to fight them off. Are you interested? Well, are you pay prepared to pay? 160 crowns in advance and another 660 when the job is done. A bit more? Nope. I'll accept that offer. I like it. We need some food though. Let's get some food. Tools are cheap here, so let's get that as well. And there is some pattern leather for us here. Maybe later. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode we will help Hirschbach defend their city and hopefully get paid a shit ton of crowns again. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.